I honestly believed that we would not have an orchestra in Syracuse without David Ridings. It was the first summer in 2011 after the orchestra had filed for bankruptcy and we were trying to keep the music alive here and we were discussing how we were going to proceed and it was a very spirited conversation that he and I had and I'm sure he'll remember it. The thing that we were both on the same side for was his commitment to Central New York, to the orchestra and to the musicians of the orchestra. I can't think of a time when I have met with him where he hasn't been concerned about, you know, what's going on with the individual musicians and whether it's even possible to, to make a life, you know, playing in the orchestra and being here in Syracuse. David's financial acuity, his love for music, his leadership abilities, and his personal support of the symphony, I believe, are one of the main reasons we still have a symphony in central New York. David, almost from the beginning, was an amazing supporter of orchestral music in central New York. But I think his biggest contribution is that he had the idea to create the Syracuse Symphony Foundation to support orchestral music in central New York. He is a person who is really committed in all sorts of different ways. Certainly support through the foundation and personally is, is one aspect, but also his engagement and thought about all sorts of different aspects of just running the orchestra, I think, are really special. And that kind of engagement over many decades is something that really I think we should all really admire. He gave a tremendous amount of time and energy to help new board members acclimate to the board, to help us determine what our most effective roles would be and how we could best support the orchestra. So in that regard, I have spent many, many hours in meetings with David and loving almost every minute of it. <laughs> David has been running board meetings for many years. And I recall going to those meetings where David was always incredibly prepared, always discussing his love for music and always the perfect gentleman. I mean, he was very supportive of me when I was the regional manager of the orchestra. I mean, his support for me has always been his greatest contribution. He's not a glass half full kind of guy. He is a full glass kind of guy his optimism is absolutely amazing. I think David's example is so inspiring. It's hard for me to think of a person who doesn't meet him and think to themselves how they might get involved and be engaged in something in the same way that he has. And everything that he does, he approaches it with the idea that it's going to be successful and he brings everybody on board and everybody enjoys what's happening and it's made an amazing difference in this community. That's something I so deeply appreciate about what he's been able to accomplish. And certainly we hope that other folks are inspired by his example as well. So with that, I would say, David, thank you for providing all this joy to the community for so many years. David, your contribution has been extraordinary. David, congratulations on a well-deserved tribute. And I hope you understand how much you mean to the orchestra. Thank you, David, for your unwavering support of the orchestra and its musicians. And I hope you're here for a long time because we need you.